Like, he's like, oh yeah, that's a stick car. He waved to me. <laughs> he's like, damn it, I thought I had the coolest car on the road. I was like, nah, mate. Hey, what's up guys? It's Supercar Blondie. Uh, hi. I'm up here. <laughs> yeah, I've got some yellow kicks on today to celebrate this cool shoot because I've got something really cool to show you. Give the video a quick thumbs up for me. I love you guys so much. Right, check this out. You think this is a G-Wagon, right? Standard G-Wagon. Come over here, peeps. Look at this. It is a six by six from Mercedes-Benz. How freaking crazy is this car? It's massive. Thank you to Alcala Motors for bringing this out today for the Supercar Blondie family to see. Notice something fishy? All six tires have been deflated. Now, this car holds the world record for this. I will show you right now. This you're not going to see in many cars, I tell you that. Right now you can see all six tyres have been deflated to around 0.5 bar and that is optimised for driving in the sand. Now, what you can do is within seconds, flick that. I'm actually going to inflate all six tyres within seconds, you guys. Normally this would take minutes, like 20 minutes, watch this. All right, you see that? Most people in their cars, they would have to actually stop at the side of the road, go somewhere you, where you can actually deflate the tires and then get back in the car and go uh, off-roading. But in this car, you can literally sit in luxury here in your leather seat and press some buttons, bing, badly do, and boom, you have actually deflated and inflated your tires within seconds. Now, I'll show you how that works. Underneath here, you've got these tanks. That is actually what makes it possible for you to just literally sit in your car and press some buttons and that they go up and down so quickly. And the cool thing is you can do the front two tires together and all four back tires together. So this is one of the rarest and most expensive Mercedes you can buy. Isn't that crazy? So when you think about really expensive Mercedes, you think like the SLS, the SLR, this is up there with those guys. This actually cost about half a million dollars. So $500,000 when it first came out. This one is a 2014 model. They stopped production altogether in 2015. Now in 2020, this baby has increased in price by 50%. Show me the money! Now, this one is going for about $800,000. There are some though that go for a million dollars and over. It all depends what you have done to your six by six. When I grew up, or and I'm sure you guys were told the same, do not buy cars because they just depreciate in value. As soon as you drive a car out of the showroom, you are gonna lose money on that car. The interesting thing in what I have been doing over the last few years is I've learned that some of these cars can actually be really, really good investments. All right, so we've got a 5.5 liter V8 bit turbo engine running this, and that has about 540 horsepower. You might notice, right, in a normal G-Wagon, the car would stop here. Right, so you'd have the front doors, back doors, and boom, it would cut off. Here, they've actually added a whole extra part, and that is because they wanted the back seats to be just as luxurious as the front seats. So they've moved the back seats all the way back here. So there's plenty of leg room here in the front for these passengers. Now, come around the back, we actually have a full tray back. Here we go, here we go. There you go, and it actually looks like it's been used, <laughs> which is unusual for a car like this because it's so expensive. A lot of people would just buy this car just as a toy, right? But this looks like it's actually had things thrown in the back and actually been used for the purpose that it was made for. You got the extra tire there in the back, you got the roll bars. I've got to be honest with you, I do love this car because 
it just has the cool factor, right? But I'm a little bit unsure as to what you would use it for. The car is so high, it's almost two and a half meters high that it will not fit in most car garages. Like if we were just to drive to the mall, it will not fit in the mall car park. And this clearance is a half a meter in itself, just the clearance here. While I love the concept <laughs> and I love how it looks, um, I think it's more of like a play thing rather than something really functional. A variation of this was actually first made for the Australian military. They got a couple hundred of these cars and then they were like, do you know what? Let's make a few for customers as well. Sell it to people who literally just want to take it on the sand and for a bit of fun. Um, it's a little bit of a hike up here. Oh. <laughs> Don't wear a dress if you ever get into this car. All right. Now, in the back seats, oh, I'm just filling this out. Yeah, there's a lot of room, it's nice. Basically, they've AMG'd this baby out. It's all gorgeous leather. Drive time, let's go. <laughs> On, like, takeoff, <laughs> that's what I'm gonna call it. It doesn't, um, it doesn't feel heavy. You don't even notice that you're driving something with six wheels. Nothing to see here, mate. Just a six by six Mercedes. <laughs> it's a ridiculous car. <laughs> like, I don't know any reason why you would need this car, but at the same time, I really like it. It is super cool. And it feels actually, I don't want to say light because it's obviously not a light car. It weighs almost four tons, but I don't feel it when I'm driving it. and. That's pretty cool. I, it really feels actually just super light. Now, what I am interested in is the turning circle. So we're gonna test that, that out. Um, what I really like in a few different massive beastly cars that I've been driving recently is that it has all wheel um, steering, right? So it helps for the turning circle. If a car is so long, it really helps if the back wheels turn it a different direction to the front ones so you can whip around corners but i don't think this has that look he's like he's like oh yeah that's a stick car he waved to me <laughs> he's like damn it i thought i had the coolest car on the road i was like nah mate no chance i got a six by six i rule the road that's how you feel in this car <laughs> oh okay what about the turning circle let's see let's see um not too bad actually not too bad not as good as some other big cars I've driven but not too bad I got around that corner fine it's got some power you guys 540 horsepower I wouldn't have thought it was enough to feel like it's powered well enough for such a heavy car but they've done a really good job what I would want though is if I got this car I would definitely want the Brabus exhaust system because if you have a car like this you want it to sound just as beastly as it looks that's it a massive shout out to my notifications gang make sure you click those notifications on so you are the first to see my vids don't miss out don't have your friends tell you what's going on go watch it also subscribe to my supercar blondie family i would love to have you we are growing super quickly we've got so many more cars coming your way i love you i'm out bye